What's up guys, how's it going? I got another installment for my um, five underrated metal records series that I've kind of been going on for a little while here. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy this. I'm ready for this one, I'm pretty excited. This is Alicia and Inferno by Berator in the background. Um, it's kind of like a technical death metal, kind of a dissonant death metal band from Chicago. Um, I kind of know the people in this band. I wouldn't say we're friends or I wouldn't even probably call us acquaintances, but we've had passing conversations playing, you know, gigs together throughout the Chicago metal scene and all that. Uh, so it's really cool to see them getting some success. This is out on Dark Descent, so killer. No beer today. Just got off work. It's the afternoon. Go skate park in a little bit. So first one start off with not black metal for once elf now this is maybe not a metal record i probably wouldn't call it a metal record actually i have it in my proto metal section which is where i put you know budgie and deep purple and dusk and uh rainbow ufo the scorpions winter hawk things like that um and this is Rodney James Dio's original band. As you can see, he is on the back here. Uh, I believe this is him. Bearded and looking killer as ever. Now this is like a hard rock band, a lot more than anything. Some really good bluesiness to it. Like the song, Hoochie Coochie Lady, uh, I'm Coming Back For You, Dixie Lee D Junction, Love Me Like A Woman, Gambler Gambler. It's very much so more of like a 70s hard rock record rather than like a proper metal record. Um, obviously, if you like that style, especially, you know, some of the older guys who watch me, you probably know this. If you don't, go check it out. Oh man, because I, I guarantee you'll love it, man. Um, Kronos is pushy today. Oh, buddy. He's very, very cuddly, as you probably have noticed. Um, yeah, so Elf, man great great band ronnie james dio's voice fits over everything like usual really really well and the guy's an absolute monster of a vocalist so elf i have all three elf records here um this is the other two i'm only showing you because they're right here it's a live album and then another uh another full length actually they might just both be two more full length whatever i was listening to rainbow today so i was just jamming um I had a dude ask for a shirt video as well. Check out this new one here, love it. Absolutely love it. I will get to it, I gotta wait for a pre-order to get in, uh, that's got a couple shirts in it, I think it has one maybe. Um, and then I will be doing the shirt video when I get to it. Uh, but for now, continuing on my merry way, I still don't know how to pronounce this, but this is Mert Grav. Mert Grav is obviously a awesome Norwegian kind of folk metal black metal kind of somewhere in between the two projects um so it is a singular person project which is really impressive because it sounds enormous which obviously you can make that happen these days you do multi-track recording and you're in good shape but this is very norse folk as a lot of these groups kind of tend to be but this one really teeters more on the folk metal side than just the black metal side um and it's done really, really tastefully. It's really atmospheric. It's really fun. It's really pretty. And um, yeah, it really fits well with that album cover. There's something very old sounding about it. It sounds like, you know, a war-torn kind of countryside that is pretty, you know, pretty much retaken over by the, the wilderness with maybe some people, you know, kind of still living here and there. It sounds like something, a, a large amount of destruction happened at a place that had previously been beautiful and is regaining its beauty. Yeah, that's a weird kind of atmospheric um, plug I've made in my brain. Sorry, the cat just broke into the closet for whatever reason. Um, but yeah, it's a really interesting listen. It's very replayable because there's so much going on and all the folk instrumentation is really something to kind of sink your teeth into it's um it's a really interesting thing man i'm trying to see like if there is a list of all the different folk instruments that are on here 
And uh, me being the folk dork that I am, I'm all about some really folky stuff. Uh, here's the guy behind it in typical sweater fashion, as most Norwegians seem to be. Let's see. He has a bunch of guests on here. Um, so Lars Jensen, the main guy, plays vocals, guitars, bass, keys, and drums with a guest performance and for a female voice, more additional clean vocals, a uh, extra bassist. Okay, so pretty much all of the folk instruments on here have to be keyboards, as I presume. And this guy had me fooled, so he must have some really, really good samples. Very, very good listen. Check out Mert Grob if you have not done so already. Sorry, since I'm sitting in front of the metal shelf, I may as well just put him back as I go, right? Uh, next, a band I'm a huge fan of, and I would think most guys would consider a classic band for uh, the new wave of British heavy metal era, but a lot of youngins don't seem to know about this one. This is Judgment of the Dead by Pagan Altar. This is a huge, huge album for me. I absolutely adore Pagan Altar. They're a band I got into really early on into my journey into extreme metal because i don't think i would call do me first or do me new wave british heavy metal extreme um at least with a you know a clean conscience i don't think i could call it that um i've always loved this photo there i don't i think it's some kind of wizard or something i don't actually know what that dude is supposed to be um yeah who knows but this song uh the song Judgment of the Dead, track three on here, is my first introduction to this band, right? And I heard it in like uh, an Evan Smith Element Skateboards part from like the late 2000s, maybe early 2010s. I think it was pretty new, so maybe early 2010s. And uh, I heard it and I was like, whoa, whoa. So that's kind of how I got into a lot of these Doom and Stoner and things like that kind of bands. And it really, really hit the spot really well for me. And um, the voice is kind of tough to listen to. The vocalist of which I forgot the name of, I think his name is Terry Jones, I think is the vocalist. Uh, let's see if I can find it in here. But he is the father of the guitar player, which has got to be wild, man. Playing in a band with your dad, and it's not just like, oh, we have a studio in the basement. This is like, uh, we are a big band now. We are like a... A successful group at least later in the career they probably didn't make it too too far during the heyday but whatever um yeah check out pagan altar if you for whatever reason have never actually heard this album and if that's the case i would kind of be uh not necessarily surprised but uh i would be very persistent in telling you check this one out next let me make a case for this one because i adore this record and this is probably my favorite black metal band if not top three or top five 150 percent uh this is dark throne with the cult is alive now obviously all y'all like dark throne at least i hope to some extent i mean come on the guys have done everything under the sun uh, as far as metal goes except for like power metal and that's actually pretty much it so there's you gotta love something man so this record in particular is one of my more favored records in their discography and it's really really fun it really hits the spot when i want to hear some first wave style black metal it really hits the spot when i want to hear some black thrash it really hits the spot when i want like a sing-along metal record when i'm in a celtic frost mood but i've exhausted all of my hellhammer celtic frost uh, apocalyptic raids and you know when those moods hit i'll usually go for like venom and midnight as well uh because you know there's only a certain amount of records from those groups that there are but this one will also make its way on the player in those moods it has all kinds of catchy riffs i love the um the like harsh vocals at nocturnal Calto. i guess at this point he's just called ted uh, which is about as cult as it gets, obviously. Um, let me check in the booklet to see if it's just Ted. It doesn't actually have a name, but you guys know what the boys look like. Um, I love his, you know, harsh, angry vocals, the kind of floor-shaking, absolute 
bombastic, booming sounded black metal vocal. Uh, but man, Fenris is like, hey, I'm wasted and I really love Celtic Frost, but I also really like other thrash bands, you know, Dark Angel, Hyrax, all that kind of drunk guy at a bar screaming and hollering vocals. I absolutely love them, dude. They're so fun. I really think it's a good old time. It, this is not, you know, I'm going to sit in my basement uh, with, you know, with a snooze in my lip and like drinking a beer in the dark and the winter time kind of black metal, dark throne, anything like that. This is, put this on in the car. You got all your buddies. You guys are, you know, it's a Saturday night. You guys are going to a show. You guys are want to, you know, get a little fist pumpy in the car and not look like you're part of the Jersey Shore cast. You know what I mean? Put this on. Have an open mind, man. Punky black metal, thrashy black metal, old school first wave, kind of really, really top shelf stuff, man. If you... If you go into that with that mindset, go into listening to this with that mindset, I really do think you'll find something to like about The Cult is Alive. FOAD, I would say, it is in a pretty, pretty similar boat, but I like this one more. Um, if you're going to listen to, like, one song on here, maybe go for the title track. Uh, sorry, not the title track, the opening track, The Cult of Coliath or whatever, a cult of Goliath, I think it is, this font they use is stupid, uh, Too Old Too Cold is a really good one, Whiskey Funeral's fun, uh, the song Shut Up is great, it's just, you know, it's not meant to be taken super seriously, which is, I think, a big problem for a lot of the Dark Throne guys, man, um, and I'm not just saying that because I love Dark Throne, I'm a fan of Dark Throne because I wound up liking all of their stuff, if I hate something, I'll be gladly tell you, and you guys are well aware of that, um, yeah, Dark Throne, the cult is alive. Man, gotta get me hyped. I might take this in the, the van on the way to the skate park. I don't know. I've been in, like, a, a, a f kind of first wave of metal kick. I was listening to Rainbows Rising on the way home, and I, I had to replay Stargazer again, because, like, <laughs> if I made, like, a t top 20 metal songs of all time video which i probably would never do because that would be just too much that would 150 percent be in the top 20 if not top 10 maybe who knows last one we're gonna end it with some death metal for all of my uh my more brutal homies this is world of horror by demonic manifestation man those Latin American fellas know what they're doing when it comes to some filthy, nasty, old-school death metal. All these fellas right here are just killing it. Um, I think these guys have something to do with some other bands like this. Uh, Victor, Infal Victor Alfonso Mercado, Enrique Antonio Martinez Frey, Felipe de Jesus Gonzalez, Cesar Augusto, Garza Vitia, something like that. Uh, if those names ring a bell at all, let me know in the comments because I probably won't remember to check this out on the Metal Archives. Uh, but, dude, check out this album cover. You know, I'm going to pull it out of the jewel case so you guys can get a better, better gander at it. Look at that one. Anthony, Metal Miners, if you don't know this, get on it. This literally sounds like if Incantation came out of stockholm in 1991 and it is just absolutely awesome it's like a little bit hm2e which i, I kind of hate calling it hm2 death metal because that has such a connotation of at this point i don't know rehashing i guess but like these guys play that guitar tone with a different style of death metal it's really doomy they get blasty sometimes it really does remind me musically a ton of like um first couple eps of incantation maybe even like up through to almost blasphemy era incantation which honestly they've been very consistent through the through the years you guys are probably all well aware but man this one right here get up on it i promise you you will like it if you like old school death metal um, so I'm going to call it at that today. I hope y'all enjoy your 4th of July weekend. I know I will. I'm going to check out a record store tomorrow. Got some cash for my birthday. Have some extra money to, you know, waste on whatever I feel like. 
So that'll be really cool. I'm going to take some homies up there. Um, the exclusive is getting renamed up in Greenfield to like Verdez or Ver Verenis Records or some crap like that. Apparently the the uh, employees bought it. So I'm very excited to go up there. Uh, I'll catch you guys later. Keep it greasy.